parents coaching their children is nothing new, and certainly several of 44's top 44 were guided by mom or dad, and we've also had several sets of siblings in our countdown. But at number nine on our girls' list, a Versailles Tiger, who helped lead the basketball team to a perfect season with her older sister as the head coach. <laughs> Justine Ratterman, Versailles, class of 2008, volleyball and basketball. In basketball, led Versailles to the 2008 state title, earning tournament MVP honors. As a senior first team All-Ohio, District and MAC Player of the Year as Versailles went undefeated. Set the all-time scoring and rebounding records at Versailles. Four times first team All-MAC. In volleyball, twice first team All-Ohio, three times first team All-MAC, MAC Player of the Year in 2007. Justine, yes, a great, great basketball player, but Justine uh, was the MAC Player of the Year in volleyball as well, and she was an interesting volleyball player because she was so tall and she was a setter as well as an outside hitter. So sometimes you think of hitters as you just have to deal with them when they're in the front row, but when she's in the back row, she was a force to be reckoned with as a setter as well, a tall setter at that. Well, her height was a big advantage for her. A six foot one guard was huge. You know, not too many guards are six foot. And uh, being able to put that on a resume was huge. But she could also play with her back to the basket, which she had to in high school basketball. Um, you know, she was our biggest girl. And unfortunately, we had to take her and, and take her down low where she wasn't as comfortable. So I think she got to learn both, both ends of the game, and that's what made her so special. I think she probably was one of the toughest ones I had to coach against, there's no doubt. Probably because of her length. Um, she was 6'1", 6'2", but she could handle the ball, she could shoot outside, she could post, so she was a hard matchup to go against. She had great size for girls basketball, and she worked really hard. When your older sister's the coach, she's going to push you more than anyone. And Justine just was, she was a great leader, but also Great on the defensive end, great with her back to the basket, but could shoot from really anywhere inside the three-point line and really led those for sales teams to some really great success. Justine was just so intense, and then to have your sister coaching you, who was just as intense, was always very interesting. And, and talking to both sisters, uh, I asked Jackie, you know, is it hard to coach your sister? And she said, it's hard for her because I'm extra hard on her, and I expect because I know so much. I know what she can do with her life. And Justine really accepted that well. She, she didn't grimace. She didn't really back down. She listened to what Jackie would say to her, and they had a really special relationship. It was really neat to see an older sister mentor a younger sister, and the younger sister perform, hit big shots. I mean, she played basketball as hard as it could be played, and then went on to Dayton and did the same thing. One of the best pure athletes I've ever seen at six foot one, just can move on the basketball court and volleyball court so fluidly and has that competitive desire to win. And she really carried her teams and led her teams in volleyball and basketball at Versailles. She might not have been the quickest player as a guard in college. She might not have been the strongest. Her physicalness was not there. But she played with the biggest muscle, and that's your heart. Uh, she played with that every single game, um, and even into college. You know, when she tore ACL and, and she had to play another game against Xavier for the, for the A-10 championship, she was still playing out there. And I think that is the biggest thing that separates her from a lot of good athletes is her heart. After an all-conference hoops career at Dayton, in which Raderman became the Flyers' all-time leading scorer and rebounder in the Division I era, she played professionally overseas. Justine Raderman, number nine on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes. Raderman is still involved in basketball as a personal trainer, as well as an assistant coach at Kettering Fairmont High School.